What's going on YouTube? I want to tell you a quick story, right? And it's actually an experiment that was done. And I'm going to show you the effect that people can have on you to kill your dreams and the things you may have. And how it's important to protect the thing that you want to do um, in order to keep it alive. Here's an example. Now, these scientists used uh, monkeys in a cage. So they had adult monkeys and they had small, um, the baby monkeys, right? So what they would do is they would have this long pole that, that, that stretched, you know, in the middle of the, uh, the cage. And it had ripe bananas at the top. So what would happen is the adult banana, you know, the adult um, ape would go up. And he would actually try to get these bananas. And every time he would get close... They had a fire hose and they would take that fire hose and knock them down. So he did this over and over and over again, right? And the whole time, the young ones are watching this. But still, as time went on, they went up. And they went up and actually tried to get the, uh, the bananas and boom, all of a sudden, knocked down, right? So then they would introduce new monkeys to the cage. And as soon as the, uh, the new monkeys would come in, because it was that natural thing to get these bananas, they would do what was natural to them. They would go up the pole. All of a sudden, before they would get ready to go up the pole, the other monkeys would hold them back. No, you can't do it. Because they're thinking, you're going to get shot. You're going to fall down. You can't make it. Stay down here with us. We've learned. Isn't that the same thing that dream killers do? As soon as you come to them with the idea, and all of a sudden, boom, they take that fire hose and shoot you down. Oh, that's stupid. That's dumb. You're going to fall in your face. You're not going to succeed as that. You're not smart enough. Same thing. But yet, you see your kids around you and your people around you, you know? They see you get defeated, and they become defeated. So they see your fear. They don't want to do anything. Next thing you know, you create a generation, right, of people who don't try. Do you see the effects of that? You create a generation of people who are afraid to take the risk. This is why it's very important, guys, to protect the things that you want to pursue. You know, uh, I was talking to, um, while well, I was chatting with Love83 Forever, and he said that he has dreams, you know, and I, I take it, I mean, it may be a guy, sometimes I mix it, a guy or female, I'm not sure of the, the sex, but you know, of uh, how that, you know, He's actually putting goals and trying to achieve these dreams, which is good because in order to achieve a dream, you have to have goals in order to set yourself up to achieve it. You know, I mean, some people just say, hey, I want to be a millionaire. They say it and then you ask the million dollar question, how are you going to do it? And then you get this blank stare. Well, I don't know. I'm going to do something. How are you planning? How are you taking steps in order to make that happen? And I knew exactly what they were talking, what Love 83 Forever was talking about when he said that. Because a lot of people want something, but they don't have the plan put in place to make that certain thing happen. Maybe they think they're going to win the lottery one day. Maybe they think they'll win the million dollars at a poker table or something. You know? But just keep that in mind, guys. The, the, the lesson we should learn from this is protect your dreams. Always be aware of your surroundings. If you know you're going to get a lot of negative stuff, protect it. Perfect the thing. Make mistakes along the side so somebody can rub it in your face. Like, hey, hey, hey. They don't have enough wisdom to know that mistakes are learning tools. You know, don't worry about that. Just do what you have to do. As long as you know you're making progress and you're doing something, don't worry about what other people think because they're going to give you the negative. You don't need their opinion or their advice for you to uh, go ahead and pursue something that you want to pursue. No, just do it yourself. So let me hear your questions and your comments on this, guys. Tell me what you think. If you like the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to say to the guys. And also, I want to add a side note. Uh, investment Group is doing well. Uh, we have. We thought we were going to get two kiosks, but we have one now. And we're making plans to, to try to add the other one on. Uh, because the other one, we couldn't put in the same mall because of the way the mall was shaped. Um, we're getting together. We're forming our business. Uh, we, we're turning it into an LLC. So we won't be liable. Uh, in case we're sued or anything like that, uh, we're getting a bookkeeper. We're actually learning the whole structure of business, you know, because there's some people on the call who haven't been in business, you know. we, I like the way we have an idea and I throw it out there and it gets dissected. And then what, what spits out is a good idea. So um, 
is everything is looking good guys i keep you informed so um that's all i have to say on the matter guys until next time signing off